Hello. Uh, I decided to call this uh, auto light solar charger instead of multi-purpose solar device. I'm making uh, more tests with this, and uh, here's the circuit uh, of the solar charger. The the panel here is a very small and weak panel so uh, you take a whole day to charge the battery and uh, this is the circuit that I, I use it. one uh, well, all the values in here, I think I, I don't need to, to go over this. Uh, the only thing that I like to, to, to say is that on the tank circuit in here, I was trying to use a lower value here. And when I use the lower uh, value resistor, the capacitor here uh, was with very low voltage. And to charge the battery, I really need uh, to the solar panel to have enough voltage to go through the battery. I mean, the voltage coming from the solar panel uh, has to to be more than the voltage on the battery and uh, when I increase the value of the resistor what happened? the discharge here back to the battery was uh, what I can, how I can say that was was with lower frequencies, but the 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 voltage that was here on the capacitor was always above the voltage on the battery. I found this really nice, so. When I use a 360K here, the voltage coming from the solar panel could be uh, below the voltage of the battery, then it will accumulate on the capacitor until it reaches a voltage higher than the battery, and the oscillator begins and the discharge to the battery starts so it's a cool uh, thing to 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 do this I'm al I'm already uh, testing another solar circuit using the same same let's say system I mean uh, using a higher value resistor and uh, um, I'm placing a capacitor uh, before the, the Schutke diode so the, the, the voltage on the capacitor is always higher than the voltage on the battery well this is the circuit I use it on the auto light charger solar charger and this is the part 2 of the the auto light solar device the last part is just the the wireless transmitter but I already have a video of this wireless that I use so I think this will be the last video of this device and uh, the next 
uh, videos of this one will be the tests uh, that I've made with batteries so this is the part for the just for the schematics you can stop the video now after watching this because the rest of this video is just the tests uh, I've made with batteries rechargeable alkaline double uh, A triple A lithium ion and etc that's it and uh, thanks for watching I'm now making uh, more tests with the solar circuit charge uh, I was testing with the, the lithium ion but I decided to try uh, using the rechargeable 1.5-1.2 batteries and uh, this is the voltage on the capacitor that is connected to the solar panel from the capacitor uh, I'm connecting the positive on the battery and the negative to this other capacitor and then to the positive of the coils then uh, it goes to the circuit and I'm testing the resistor on the tank circuit here and I notice uh, a strange thing uh, a different uh, thing from the previous solar circuit I made if I increase the voltage I mean I decrease the voltage on the tank circuit that goes to this uh, 200 microhenry and then to the base of the 2M the capacitor uh, the voltage gets lower and the battery uh, charges slowly if I increase the, the, the value of the tank circuit here I'm using a 360k resistor I've tested I tested with uh, I was testing with a potentiometer and I've noticed that uh, when the, 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 the pot is on the maximum resistance the LED was uh, glowing more and when the, the potentiometer one was on the minimum resistance this LED uh, was barely, barely uh, on, barely lit well, uh, when the resistance on the tank circuit is lower, this capacitor discharges more fast and the pulses that comes from the collector to the Schutke diode back to the positive of the battery is very, is, um, how can I say? this charge is more and the, the voltage that stays on the entrance of the circuit is lower then it charges uh, very slow when I increase this value of the resistance the voltage on the capacitor is higher and the discharge from the collector to the shoot key back to the battery is it's in a lower rate but in a higher voltage they are in higher pulses uh, at least is what I think I don't have a oscilloscope to 
to see this and the battery increases the voltage faster I'm discharging a lithium ion uh, this, this cell is with uh, 4.17 4.18 volts it's fully charged uh, this cell is supposed to have about uh, 3.7 volts but I use them with uh, I charge the cells uh, up to 4.3 volts so it's totally charged I am trying to discharge one of these and I'll make more tests I, I it's, this is a new uh, thing for me that I've learned I thought that the lower value on the tank circuit uh, more voltage would come to the collector that is true if I use a battery but when using solar panels if I increase the resistance of the discharge the voltage that comes from the solar panel it seems to, to accumulate and the voltage here from the solar panel to the tank circuit is 3.57 and the, the capacitor it's 3.31 there is a difference between these two multimeters so I think it's the same voltage uh, but it, it seems to accumulate more voltage on this uh, on the entrance of the circuit the more voltage that accumulates in here it's a higher voltage that goes to the battery and from the negative of the battery to the voltage in of the circuit and the higher voltage that comes into the circuit the higher the pulse from uh, the collector back to the battery they are slower pulses but they are in higher peaks I think that that's what's happening so this is the uh, charging circuit part of the second solar device I've, I've, I'm building and I'll make more tests here is already on one point almost 1.3 volts I was using a 400 I begin with a 460 ohms then I go I went up to 2.7k 8.2k and I noticed that the higher the, the, the value uh, faster the charge interesting very interesting uh, now I'm testing to charge uh, an alkaline battery it's a double A alkaline battery This is the voltage on the battery. This is the voltage coming from the solar panel. And here is the voltage on the capacitor of the solar panel
So uh, really the, the higher uh, value resistor in here I'm still with the 360k and this is what I found most interesting uh, because uh, the LED here it's glowing, it's glowing very bright the yellow LED and uh, if I decrease the value of the resistor the LED uh, well with a 10k here the LED almost do not bright just lead uh, the camera cannot uh, capture this but the LED is not uh, bright uh, I mean linear bright is flickering very fast and the voltage is rising the battery is charging I have a reach uh, 900 millivolts. Here's the voltage coming from the solar panel. I'm using just light 3.45 volts. If I decrease the value of the resistor there, this value uh, decreases to okay. <sighs> More tests, and uh, soon I will install this tiny circuits on the on the board here's the box uh, with the two clusters the LED clusters uh, this is the LED driving circuit in here and this is the automatic uh, light controller I mean uh, sensor but the LDR it is not installed yet I want to install the LDR on the on the top of the box so testing testing and more testing Test were went fine with a rechargeable AAA battery. Uh, this battery was dead and was recovered, but uh, is a rechargeable one. It was with uh, 800 uh, millivolts. Now it's with 916. So I think that it's fine for the testing. Uh, the charger will now just take the time I will test again with a uh, lithium ion that uh, is what I want to use I've just charged this one uh, it's maybe with uh, let me check the voltage it was with uh, 317 so let's see how how is the voltage now before uh, let me change here oh uh, so here so it's with 
Uh, now it's 10.32 in the morning, 3.40 volts, 3.4 volts, 10.32 in the morning, and I'll place this battery for charging just using the 2 watt LED on the solar panel and let me see how long it will take to charge the battery is now connected and uh, there was a charge in the capacitor it jumped to 3.42 and the LED is now just blinking check how long this is the voltage on the solar panel capacitor 4.43 volts voltage on the battery 3.42 and uh, it seems to be charging we try to shade the LED Okay. Now it's just waiting. 3.43. I wish to have more digits on this multimeter. Okay, five hours later, uh, the battery is with 3.53, almost 3.54. Uh, so I guess that using uh, conventional lighting uh, it's acceptable. It is ready for placing the board.